hey, it's Thursday, not Wednesday, but who cares? I can do whatever I want. I'm a little messed up on my days anyway because I had Monday off of work for President's Day and then I had a cold on Tuesday, which I'm still getting over today, and so I was off of work for two days and I, I absolutely have no idea what's going on anymore, so... Yeah! Anyway, the question this week, or the theme, is uh, what would you do, what would you wish for if you had three wishes? Which, I hate these kinds of questions because I never know how to answer them. Because they always require you to know what you want, and I don't know what I want. But JK, I thought what your friend said about uh, making people empathetic to each other it was really very insightful and smart, and I, uh... I would kind of like to steal that, I think, because I feel like I would want to wish for, like, world peace or something like that, because I just, it stresses me out that so many people are just so cruel to each other all the time, and it, it's, that's one of the things that I wish I could do something about in the world, so I feel like I would maybe not wish for the superpower to make people empathetic, but just to give everyone in the world that power of being empathetic to each other or being able to understand each other. I think that would be really a really good thing. And I admit, I would not have thought of anything remotely like that if you hadn't said that. So I'm not trying to be a good person. I'm just saying that would be probably a really good idea. I would be selfless enough to wish that for the world because it would make my life better. I'm sure it would make everybody else's life better. So why not? So the other wishes I would probably wish for, um, well, JK, it's gonna sound like I'm stealing from you again, but I thought of these totally on my own because we're both on the same uh, selfish wavelength, but I would wish to be able to teleport because I hate traveling and, you know, that would be useful. I've cut down on my carbon emissions for the the environmentalists out there, and uh, I'd probably wish for unlimited money, or at least not to have to worry about money, because I don't know what I would do with the money, I would just want to have enough that I it wasn't a concern, it wasn't something I had to worry about, it wasn't something I had to factor into my life, you know? So, yeah, I'm, I'm selfless that way. Oh, just to clarify, the uh, you were talking about the people stomping upstairs. The people upstairs don't stomp at me. That's just what they do. Like, they're not, they're not trying to send me a message. They just, these are the most leaden-footed people I've ever met. It's like they're sumo wrestlers wearing concrete shoes up there, and occasionally they have kids running around, and sometimes they use power tools. Like this weekend, they were putting in a new, a new carpet, which hopefully will help drown out sound of the, some of the sound, but the process of putting in a new carpet requires a lot of hammering and just loud stuff, and they're always dropping things all over the place. I can hear when they take a bath on Saturday morning. I can hear them fill up the bathtub and splash around. It's like they, they're, they're incapable of doing anything quietly. So it's not like a personal attack, it's just they're... I don't know, they seem to be oblivious to how, uh, how elephant-like they really are. But uh, it's not a constant thing, so I can, I can pretty much deal with it. I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm still a little... I'm like... I'm out of it and I just want to sleep and... Yeah. So. Uh-huh. See you. Or whatever.